California's top cop is making a strong appeal for hundreds of thousands of California college students. The so-called Dreamers came here as children but were allowed to stay under President Obama's executive order. CBS 2's Randy Page is live with the uncertain future DACA kids face under President Trump. Randy. Well, these DACA kids are in a bit of a tough situation to sign up. They had to provide all of their personal information, including addresses, names, and so forth. And now there is a challenge to this law saying it might be unconstitutional. Well, today, California's Attorney General said, I've got your back. I am going to be completely honest, it's scary. These are scary times for dreamers like Sophia, a senior at Cal State LA, afraid to provide her last name, who arrived in the United States with her undocumented parents when she was just four years old. She says Sonora is where she was born. America is her home. Some absolutely incredible kids, I would say mostly. They were brought here in such a way. It's a very, it's a very, very tough subject. We are going to deal with DACA with heart. But that heart may be hardening. This week, Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly told members of the Congressional Hispanic Caucus that DACA might not survive a legal challenge brought by 10 attorneys general who call it unconstitutional. Today, California's attorney general weighed in. If you're a dreamer and a DACA recipient, we want to stand behind you and say, we've got your back. Javier Becerra announced today he and 19 other attorneys general sent a letter to President Trump calling on him to make good on his promise to deal with DACA with heart and protect it from legal challenges. If President Trump stands up for DACA and says that uh, he's going to continue the executive action, uh, then we absolutely can defend it. Are you a dreamer? I am a dreamer. What are your dreams? My dreams is to leave my mark in this world. Sophia says one day she will leave that mark on the world as an American citizen in the country she calls home. <laughs> and the most secure path forward for Sophia and all of the other DACA kids is a federal law. And it turns out just this week, two very prominent senators, Republican Lindsey Graham, Democrat Dick Durbin, introduced a bill, a Dreamer Act, which would not only provide these kids with a chance to stay, but also a path towards citizenship. And these senators are asking President Donald Trump to join in that effort as well. Let's go back to you.